All I did was have Linda move on the safe spot just to make sure nothing awry happens. Right, let's continue. Hey there, Sniper. You're looking a little, um... Snipey. Nah, I don't know how to have horse take care of you. Instead, my good buddy Merrick will do the job. Critastic! He's still all east today, isn't he? I'm running out of staff uses for pretty much anything. So don't have no physic. Have Julie move down. Be mindful of that guy over there. Oh, he drops a vulnerary. Of all things to drop, why a vulnerary? Let's get this guy out of here. So now we have no healers. Period. We should cut off that axe here at the pass. No reinforcements appear from outside, which is nice. Yeah, that uh, Draco can't move farther than the hero. Put Athena there. And Marth gets ever so slightly closer. Meanwhile, Manfrey will just like pull up the rear. His left. Nagi and here we are. And turn. Poor axe hero, reduced to nothing. As over the over the Athena goes stronger. That door is locked. Um, these guys spawned in. Axe hero versus Axe hero. It goes as well as well as you'd expect, except Daddy Sudger's fucking legend. I didn't give Minerva any ranged weapons because she's all power weapons. Oh well, Frey can do, still do his manly thing. Manly Frey and his manly goatee growth of 255. Look at him! <laughs> He's unstoppable! <laughs> Some words or something. He's the main character. For fuck's sake. Oh, you're a mage, and I can't. I can't magically cheese you. How disappointing. All you do is physically cheese you. I mean, the defense of the mage dragon isn't that good compared to the fire dragon, but it's still pretty high. Next turn, I think I'll have Julian take that spot, and Norn can just go in because it's Norn. Let's see, eight. That'll be twenty-four. I'm pretty sure Nagi will be okay. I mean, the rest of them can probably only do scratch damage to her. Oh, well, that guy can. Uh, the here, the axe here when the. Manakee, though, kind of worried. Unless I offer a distraction! Heh! <laughs> You're nothing, Twan. Well, you can't double him. Wait, that's right, these are these are the super speed man Manakee. Ridiculous speed stats. 
And 15. Not a shitload like I was expecting, but still did a lot. And the Anagi's pretty good, so. Sauron Bolt! That door is locked. Okay, Norn! Roll, roll, whirl. Well, I got one even better. Doop doop. Well, here's the... Oh wait, no, I was using the weaker falchion. What the hell was I doing? I was using the weaker falchion this whole time! I had a feeling that I didn't feel right! <laughs> I was like, wait, shouldn't I be doing a little more damage than that? I mean, that doesn't feel right. Uh... <laughs> Lo and behold, I was using the weaker one this whole time. Okay, odds are very high that this guy's gonna just go turn tail right back and just go attack Norn because why not? Eh, uh, Freya will be waiting. Unless he decides to go after Minerva instead. We can attack back though. And for those of you who are wondering, no, Mace does not move. <laughs> he doesn't move, no matter the difficulty. <laughs> he just stays on his throne. They 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 explain that he can't move anyway. In game, because uh, if he leaves the castle, he might lose his powers. Also, uh, if you if you were astute, you'd notice that Nagi Spray is actually taller than uh, Tiki's uh, when she's uh, untransformed. Though the art they gave her is not looks nothing like the look no, it looks nothing like the spray, but official art, I mean. But hey, points for consistency. I think at least size at least size matter. Say so no heal, Linda. She doesn't need the healing. This one does. She's doing work. She's laying groundwork. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Ooh, nasty. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> As I thought, this dude's only doing the scratch damage to Nagi. Well, she's not. Another round of fucking jackanapes over here. And another axe hero. I love axe heroes, they're great. Even the reinforcement fodder and shit. They're still great. And then he was gone. Ceased to be. Was never there. No, I didn't mean to heal. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't mean to heal Frey! <laughs> Whoops! Okay, yeah, that's enough of him. This one actually would be close! Dude, the, the stats are actually comparable. But I bet he doesn't have multi healing life form! Well, he used to. We got rid of that. Hmm! <laughs> LOL! Can barely damage him with the fucking hell, Claire. And regular dragon slaying weapons don't work on Medius. As already established. They just simply don't. Actually... Hold on. Ah, oh, you can be doubled! You're not that good of an axe hero, unfortunately! <laughs> Swish. Uh, 
There's Marth going right to work with his falchion. And, oh god, fucking me, so fuck him up! Well, as far as this is concerned, I've pretty much got all of my bases covered, so I think I'll just put him in range and then just hope I don't fucking explode. <laughs> I can get him with a longbow, but Norn barely had you know, enough strength to do that. Yeah, the throne's giving him defense, of course. Uh, she's like two points shy of actually doing damage with a longbow. <laughs> Sad face! Oh well. That everyone? Everyone that matters? Yes? Okay. <laughs> I fucking love Manny's battle theme. It's great. It's rock hard and it's upbeat. Too bad the battles last so don't last very long in this game, so you can't fully enjoy it. This is, the theme pretty much sounds the same in every version. Well, depending on the mood, of course. In the mood, of course, um... As expected of Nagi. It was a, as expected to be of a final battle theme for good old FE1. And FE3 is just spooky and then, ta-da! Final boss fight. And here, rock hard battle, final battle. Giggity. that up a little. Actually, I'm actually gonna move free down here. No, I'm gonna do this actually. Yeah, there we go. What the hell? Give him that physic. Let's try the javelin. Hammer that shit. I want to see if I can get Warp Nagi over there when we're, when we're all done with these guys. These hillbillies just being jack all. Reinforcements? What's that? Something you eat? Guys, we're gonna do the whole back and forth with uh, Manius. We'll do damage. But, uh, dude's gonna heal for quite a bit. Just saw there, you just recovered a whole good old good old chunk of health right there. Well. Thunderbolt. I think I moved too far, yeah, I moved too far. Oops. There goes that guy, which leaves the hero and the other man to do their own devices. Only has told defense. <laughs> this is twelve HP. Ow. You know, I, I kind of part of me kind of wishes they kept the whole uh, do do all half damage thing, have your attack thing from FE three of the Earth Dragons. Instead, they just go for raw stats for Medius here, which works in this game. No, don't, don't get me wrong; it makes Medius quite formidable. But then you fight generic Earth Dragons, spoilers, in FE3, in FE12, 
and they don't do the whole half damage thing in that game either, and they're kind of shit, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty bad in that game, compared to FE3 where they tanked like all hell. Mainly because they have pretty much the same stats Manius had when you fight generic Earth Dragons in FE3 Book 2. But that's beside the point. The fact that is, FE12, they kind of suck. But that's next game. We're not at that game just yet. While we're here. Ding ding! Linda is a very good staff bot. <laughs> I'll take this back now, thanks. Okay, let's get that uh, Draco out of here, then we can go back to uh, the good old fun. Meanwhile, Mateus restores a shitload of HP. <laughs> He's barely restoring almost as much as um, HP as Marth can deal damage. It's kind of sad. Let's see. 20, I want the thing of putting Frey there. He's got more than enough defense to be holding his own against these guys. I mean, we're even with the Divine Stone, that's like, what, 21 defense? Or is it, or am I thinking of, is it 21 defense or 17 defense? Which it actually has. I'm trying to remember the bonuses. Yeah, I think it's 21 defense. So, I think I'll do this. Put on the Dragon Pike and have Frey go to town because he's an absolute boss. Heal up Nagi. And do this whole thing with Hamidius again. Not much else I can do! <laughs> Dude, he was from a shitload. Arrgh! Also, this is just me, I'm, I kinda I kinda like the whole <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the stock sound of like they use for Hamidius is right there, the whole Arrgh! I don't know, I think it fits. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it does. Oh my god, Frey! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he can't be stopped! Period! This dude is simply invincible! <laughs> Shit, I wish I could be using him against the final boss. Probably could. He mean, we wouldn't be doing scratch damage, I can tell you that much. Greater is the rate of us he can be doing some pretty good damage. And now someone's gotta take care of these fucks. And I would like to use Nagi because, you know, it's fitting, ooh. <laughs> ah, this game. No. What the fuck am I doing? Simplify matters. And here's what Nagi can do! <laughs> oh god, that is sweet, sweet kill. That is sweet fucking power right there. I'm not gonna attack in case, just in case she misses. Yeah, she has a uh, Ace has a quote with Nagi and she initiates battle before anyone else does. But not like it matters.
to one of the darkness in your heart continues to sustain me. I cannot be destroyed. Experience anyway, just even though we just defeat the final boss.